Minecraft has been around for more than a decade now, and there's no doubt that over the years, there's been some incredibly influential YouTubers and live streamers that have made an impact on the game in one way or another. One of these YouTubers is Dream, who in my opinion has saved Minecraft as a whole ever since he started blowing up on YouTube. But how could one content creator be responsible for keeping an entire game's community from dying? Well, there's a few major ways he did it, so let's Let's just get straight into it. Now to understand how Dream saved Minecraft, we have to know why it was going to die in the first place. Minecraft had already pretty much died in 2017 and 2018, but going into 2019, the game had been revived out of nowhere and the hype around it was insane. Things were looking good for Minecraft, but the only problem was that the hype wouldn't last forever. Most YouTubers that made videos on Minecraft like PewDiePie would stop making videos on it once the game got boring to them, which would ultimately shatter Minecraft's relevance. The only way the Minecraft community could be kept alive would be if there was other content creators to pick up where the 2019 hype train had left off, and that's exactly where Dream comes into play. At first, Dream was just like any other YouTuber, but as he quickly rose to the number one spot in Minecraft contents, he's done countless things for the community to keep it alive. Probably one of the biggest things Dream has done is bring in new waves of freshness into the Minecraft community. One really good example of this is speedrunning. Now, speedrunning Minecraft had never really been a big topic since nobody used to care about how fast you could beat the game. But once Dream started making his Minecraft manhunts and going for world records himself, it somehow became this huge trend that everyone was trying to get in on. I mean, just to show you how much of a difference he made, if you look at this graph here, in April 2020, Minecraft's speedrunning had probably had the biggest spike in popularity out of anything I've ever seen. And that's around the same time when Dream's Minecraft Manhunt series really started to blow up. And speedrunning is just one example. His coded challenges and commentaries are all Minecraft genres that can provide several hours of original entertainment. Which in my opinion, that's exactly what Minecraft needed. Fresh content. Not only has he made the speedrunning scene more popular and competitive, but I also feel like he's just made Minecraft, the game itself, more competitive. I remember back a year or two ago when the most impressive thing you could do in Minecraft was kill a baby zombie without dying, but nowadays you got dream skins running around, MLG water bucketing off of every single cliff they can find. Honestly though, when you have a guy getting over 10 million views on almost every video he posts where he is literally showing off his Minecraft skills, it's gonna encourage others to try and do the same. But nonetheless, this is is a good thing. Many people have been challenging themselves to get better competitively at the game, and when that competitive aspect of a game is brought into life, it opens up so many new possibilities. I feel like Minecraft really lacked the motivation to improve your mechanical skills in the game, which is not good. But watching Dream just makes you want to go out and practice block clutches or MLG horses like he does. Another way that Dream has really saved Minecraft is how he's used his major influence influence to help out other content creators. Now I know some of you may be asking, why does it matter that he helped out other content creators to YouTube or Twitch fame? Well, think about it like this. The reason Minecraft had gotten hyped up again in 2019 was because so many large content creators like PewDiePie and Call Me Carson had played the game for multiple videos, which was great for Minecraft, but once they got bored of the game or saw their views dropping, they left Minecraft behind. And after the the hype chasers left, the burden of keeping the community alive was passed on to the few people who will continue making Minecraft content, and all of them will work together to keep the game going, which technically means the more YouTubers and live streamers making original and entertaining Minecraft content, the better. Now instead of Dream taking on this responsibility of keeping the game alive alone, he made an army of other content creators to keep the game alive with him, or at least that's how I like to think about it. His friends like George Not Found and Sapnap basically rose to the top instantly with his help. And other creators like Tommy Init, Tubbo, The Eretz, Puns, Punk, and many others gained tons of publicity through Dream, especially because of his SMP. Dream basically opened up brand new opportunities for these content creators so they could use it for their own gain, which would overall increase the amount of entertaining content being given to the community. The funny thing is, a lot of 
the well-known newer Minecraft YouTubers and live streamers had help from Dream in one way or another, and you can just see the change in growth once they got Dream's help. I know a lot of people may call this leeching off of Dream, which technically it is, but at the same time, people like Tom Yinna and George Not Found are really entertaining to watch, so it's acceptable and it keeps the game's hype and interest around. Another thing I want to talk about is how Dream is just Dream. Like, I don't know what else to say. The fact that he makes extremely entertaining content while also being very humble just sets him as a role model for the entire community. He reminds me of Skyda's Minecraft back in the good old days. Both of them just give off this positive type of energy, and it may not seem like it, but when you have people like that leading a community, it keeps people going. Dream also builds up so much hype in the community on his own. I don't think I've ever seen as many people excited for a new Minecraft video than on a new Dream manhunt. And not to mention, he builds up that same excitement on his live streams of events like MCC, where he usually holds over 200,000 viewers the entire stream. That's like the entire country of Vanuatu. This also brings more publicity to Minecraft events and may encourage other people to make more events for the community. And lastly, Dream is just an inspiration for me and many other content creators to make videos and help keep Minecraft relevant. With this crazy YouTube performance, there's no doubt that we can all take notes, whether it be about his YouTube success or how good he is at the game. Overall though, Dream bringing freshness into the community, encouraging others to become better at the game, bringing light to other content creators who can help keep the game alive, and overall just being the role model he is, there is no doubt that he is saving Minecraft. If he hadn't come onto YouTube after the 2019 hype had died down, who knows how stale Minecraft and its content could be. But you know, I think that's enough dream simping for today, so if you enjoyed the video and are feeling up to it, consider liking and subscribing. My other videos are popping up on the screen, my socials and discord are in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.